Tonight's next inductee is Erica Messam. chose uh, Coach Rosati. In her words, since day one, her expectations for me and about me were far greater than I, I ever had for myself. She pushed me, she, this is a quote, she pushed me, she shoved me, she poked me, and challenged me to be great. She is my mentor, my friend, and my motivator. Coach Rosati this past summer was inducted into the National Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Her career at Hartford, her personal career is, is well known throughout this state, and it's just terrific to have her be a part of tonight's ceremony. Erica, come on up. <laughs> Erica Messon was an outstanding scorer playmaker and defender on the women's basketball team. She is the first and only one of two Hartford women's basketball players to be named America East Conference Player of the Year, earning that honor in 2006. Erica, who was a three-time all-conference performer, including first team distinctions as a senior, scored 1,160 points. 11th all time and averaged 10.5 points per game in her career. She is also among the program's all time top five leaders in assists, steals, and games started, and turned in a season record 84% free throw percentage in 2004 5. Under Erica's leadership, the Hawks won consecutive America East Conference championships and made two trips to the NCAA tournament in 2005 and 6. She graduated from the College of Arts and Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Erica Messam to the alumni. I'm going to make two promises tonight before I speak, and one is I promise not to be as loud as the last two tables over there. <laughs> uh, you'll probably have to tell me to speak up a couple times. My personality definitely doesn't fit um, the two tables back there. Um, I'm not going to be long-winded. I'm going to be short and sweet. Um, I just would like to thank um, all that contributed to my success. I'm honored to have been selected to be a part of the University of Hartford's Athletic Hall of Fame. You know, it's, uh, it's pretty ironic, you know, that I stand here before you guys today because I, I, I'm not supposed to be here. You know, uh, every statistic said that I wasn't supposed to go to college. Every statistic told me that I wasn't supposed to graduate. Um, but I did. I have a 13-year-old son in the room today. His name is Tyree Johnson. Yeah, if you could see him, Tyree. Yeah. And I have a new addition to my family, Houston I. She's three years old. <laughs> my family has allowed me to be here. My mother and my father have supported me. They've allowed me to be here. They made sacrifices. They built a foundation behind me to make sure that I would succeed. Without them, there would be no me. Mom, uh, my dad, that's not here tonight. Um, not for any one reason, but you know, my dad, he celebrates every day with me, and I, and I don't feel slighted that he's not here. He was golfing this morning. <laughs> and we missed the ride up to the end. <laughs> But I do, I do appreciate him, and 
you know, with, without them, like I said, there would be no me. Um, Coach Riz, uh, Sully, Coach Mick, you know, thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to be here. Um, there was no good cop, bad cop, coaches player, um, co yeah, co uh, the coaches player, you know, they were pretty much just straight across the board. You know, once you thought you had Coach Mick on your side, you were wrong. <laughs> He just, he, he, just, he just listened. He, he, listened. he let you say everything you wanted to say, and then he shot you down at the end. He said, you know, this is what Coach Rosati's saying. This is what Sully's saying. Um, I know I wasn't, uh, it wasn't easy to deal with me at first. You know, I was always one foot in, one foot out. I had a family that I started on my own before the University of Hartford. Um, but you guys allowed me to make a home here at the university, and there was not, there would be nothing that I would change about the experience. To my teammates, I thank you for accepting me to be here. Um, the love and the support that you guys gave me was none less than sisters. We were family, we shared a sisterhood, and a bond that is unbreakable, and still to this day, are, we are inseparable. I am extremely humble and honored to have received this award, and I am here today to let you guys know I'm truly blessed. Thank you.